Hello and welcome back to Introduction to GPS. In today's video lecture, I'm going to discuss delusion of precision. So in the previous lecture, we discussed various sources of error that concerned the satellite signal. Now we'll discuss the satellite's geometry, or how they are oriented in the sky at any given moment. So the arrangement of satellites in the sky also affects the accuracy of GPS positioning. The ideal arrangement of a minimum of at least four satellites is one satellite directly overhead with three others equally spaced near the horizon, kind of above this mask angle that we talked about previously. So imagine a vast umbrella that encompasses most of the sky where the satellites form the tip and the ends of the umbrella spine. So the delusion of precision is a measure of the quality of GPS positions based on this geometry of the satellites used to compute the positioning. So satellite geometry is a fundamental limiting factor. So the higher the DOP, the greater the possible error in the accuracy of your positioning. So GPS coordinates calculate when satellites are clustered together in the sky, they suffer from something called this delusion of precision. So as satellite geometry has an impact on the accuracy of the reading, uh, the DOP figure provides a useful guide. So understanding what these numbers mean is important in terms of when you're out collecting data and if your data is any good. So we cannot correct for poor satellite geometry but we can choose ideal times to collect data and when not to. And we will discuss this in the mission planning YouTube video that you'll watch later in this semester. So here DOP can be expressed in the following forms. GDOP, which stands for the geometric delusion of precision, is the uncertainty of all the parameters, latitude, longitude, height, and clock offset. The PDOP, is also the uncertainty of the latitude, longitude, and just the height. And the uh, HDOP, which is the horizontal delusion of precision, is the uncertainty of the 2D parameters, just your latitude and longitude. The VDOP, which is your vertical delusion of precision, is uncertainty of the height parameter, how high things are. And TDOP is the uncertainty of the clock, that's the time offset. But the two biggest ones that we're going to be worrying about are the three biggest ones is the GDOP, PDOP, and the HDOP. And we'll talk about those more coming up here. So here is an example of using four satellites from the four compass quadrants uh, that provide a good horizontal solution, low HDOP. You always want the lowest number possible, and we'll talk about those coming up. But you notice if you looked at this little quadrant here, this compass quadrant, imagine this is your sky plot in the uh, Juno Trimble, you'd have one satellite in each one of those quadrants if you had four satellites. Using satellites from only one or two quadrants will provide a poor horizontal solution. So you have a very high HDOP, which is not good for accuracy. Here for vertical, Delusion of precision using satellites well spread out in the sky provides a good vertical solution. You're going to have a low VDOP. And if your satellites are very low, you're going to have a very high VDOP, which is going to provide you with poor positioning for your, uh, your points that you're collecting or your lines or whatnot. So GPS receivers report several components of DOP, which we just talked about including the horizontal delusion of precision and the vertical delusion of precision. The combination of the horizontal and the vertical delusion of precision is called the PDOP. It's the position delusion of precision. And it's a key element of GPS mission planning is to identify the time of the day when the PDOP is minimized, meaning it's very small. Since satellite orbits are known, PDOP can be predicted for a given time and a location. So the various software products that allows you to determine when conditions are best for GPS work. Again, you're going to watch a YouTube video describing this process of mission planning later on. So here are some examples of PDOP values. So between 2 and 4 is excellent. 4 to 6 is good. 
six days fare, and so forth. Um, when you're collecting this data, your GPS unit will tell you what your PDOP value is. And if it's high, perhaps you should not be collecting data at that time. Maybe you should be uh, looking at your mission planning for a different time to collect. And that could be a different time period in terms of hours, or it could be a different day. So here's looking at the GDOP and examples of poor. And here we have all our satellites on the left-hand side clustered together very closely. This is going to give us a poor GDOP, which means it's going to give us a high value. Here is a good GDOP, which is going to give us a very low value because our satellites are well spread out. And here is an example of a good DDOP, but bad visibility, where the satellites are nice and spread out, but where you're trying to collect data, these satellites are being blocked by some kind of structure or object, whether it's trees or mountains or buildings and so forth, or canyons. So um, you cannot, as I mentioned earlier, do anything about the satellites. You know, we cannot tell the satellites to move. Uh, we have to work around when the satellites are going to provide this good uh, geometric delusion of precision or um, the precision of delusion of precision when those are good. Here is just a quick screenshot of DOPs uh, from the Trimble mission planning software that we'll look at later on. But these are all the different DOPs. There's the geometrical, which is in the red. There's the yellow in time and so forth. And this just so happens to be on a date I collected a while back, 3-9-2015. And <coughs> excuse me, you can see the little vertical line going up, the dark one, kind of in the middle of this graph. And this is for a time at 3.40 p.m. And we can see that this would be a poor time to collect data in terms of this day. Um, the GDOP is high, it's above, it's above 4, um, so it's not terribly bad, but it's also not uh, the best. We can look down here lower around 3 o'clock, and we can see that the uh, GDOP is much lower, um, and then it kind of rises through the day, and then it's not until maybe kind of a little after 6 o'clock where it starts to go down again. And so this is one way to read and understand when is the satellites in the best geometry? When is this the, going to be the best time to go out and collect our day, data? And you will be using mission planning to coordinate when you should go out and collect your data for your final project. So that is a quick rundown on what the delusion of precision is. Understanding that the lower the number, the better quality of accuracy of data that you're going to be collecting. The higher the number means the poorer the quality and it can get so high that maybe you should not collect data at all for that given period of time as your accuracy or your precision is not going to be uh, necessary. So on that note, see you next lecture.